Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Tuesday the 16th of July. The local media headlines today. Cornwall's Liberal Democrats had something of a mixed night on election night a couple of weeks ago, coming first in two constituencies but going seriously backwards in four others. What are their prospects now in local government? According to the arithmetic of what happened last time, they should be pretty good. When it comes to seats on Cornwall Council, the Lib Dems were second to the Conservatives more often than anybody else. They therefore have more targets than anybody else, and it's not too much of a stretch to see how they could be the largest group after next May's elections. With that in mind, there could be quite a few fun and games at today's meeting of the full council, as the Tories fall out among themselves. The internal feuding is now having a serious impact on the day-to-day -day administration of committee meetings. More seriously, all councillors ought to be asking questions today about the new all-purpose headroom budget. They've never voted for it before, it can be used for anything and that's not really the way that financial control is supposed to work. They might also like to ask about what's going on with the management of Cornwall's car parks. Decentralising from Truro to Birmingham doesn't sound like decentralising to me. The BBC reported the opening of another 18 pop-up homes for homeless people in Newquay. They're at the Trigunnel car park and will house people who had previously been living in emergency accommodation. Greatest Hits Radio pointed out the closure of two well-known hospitality businesses, one in Truro, the other in Falmouth. The Falmouth Packet had the latest on South West Waters proposed desalination plant at par. The Cornish Times had another list of road closures and finally Cornwall Live was worried about the weather. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.